Hey guys, it's me, Arlene. Welcome to my channel. I'm Delicious Delights. Today I want to talk about the newest release from the house of Hugo Boss. This is called Hugo Boss Alive. So I have the sample here. This is what the bottle looks like. I have talked about a few other Hugo Boss perfumes in the past and they surprised me actually, especially one, the uh, Hugo Boss and I'm like, so oh, sorry, <laughs> I totally, <laughs> I totally am forgetting what the name of it was, but it's that powdery cocoa chocolate one. Oh gosh, I can't believe I forgot. It just totally left my mind. Anyways, Hugo Boss Alive is their newest release. Not a flanker of anything. This is just an original release. Uh, the notes in this one in the top, there's apple, blackcurrant, plum, cinnamon, and vanilla. In the mid, there's jasmine, sandback, and thyme. And in the base, there's cedarwood, sandalwood, olive tree, and woody notes. So, as I said, that's what it looks like. Let's get this on a test strip here. I have tested this on my skin several times, you guys, just... In case you were wondering. <laughs> okay, so hmm. the opening of this perfume is definitely the best part of this entire fragrance. It opens with a very intense fruitiness, almost like an intense fruit salad. Um, it's really fresh and sparkling and bright quite strong, has this clean kind of feeling to it. Um, really sweet, you guys. And I think that the opening of this, especially when I first tried this fragrance, the opening of this reminded me of Escada perfumes, where it's just this really intense um, fruit, fruit salad kind of thing. And that's basically what this fragrance opens up as. It's just really pleasant and mass appealing, I guess. Most people like the scent of like sweet fruitiness. Um, so yeah, the opening is really nice. I don't think that uh, any specific fruit kind of dominates in here because there's apple, blackcurrant, plum. But to me, it's like a mix, jumbled up fruitiness that I think most people would like. So as this fragrance dries down, maybe about 15 minutes later, you do get more of this woodiness that comes out, also musk, and if you're wondering, it is that lady musk thing that I talk a lot about. Um, but it's not bad. The lady musk in here is very, very subdued in the background. It's not annoying at all. It's just a little bit there. <laughs> if you look for it, it's there. Uh, but if you're not looking for it, maybe you won't notice it as much. But with especially with newest new releases, I do. My nose, you know, picks up that lady musk right away. And I only get that in the, the mid of this fragrance. There's also a little bit of a flory, floral uh, scent coming out in the mid here. But it's still, to me, in the background, I think the fruit salad, the mixed fruit thing here is still what's dominant. Um, but just in the mid, it, it you know, other things start happening. The woods, the musk, and this floral element. And not like any specific floral, it's just like a mixed floral uh, bouquet that comes out. So... Finally, in the dry down of this perfume, I find that this perfume just kind of fizzles out. It fizzles into this woody scent with a little bit of sweetness. It's not as bright anymore. It's not as fresh. It's not as sweet. So the woodiness does take over um, that fruity floral thing that we got in the mid and in the, the opening. And I don't know, it's just quite flat on my skin. Like it doesn't smell bad. I'm not saying this smells bad at all, but it just feels like this is a very, to me, this is a very top heavy fragrance where you get this very pleasing opening, but then it kind of just fizzles out and runs out of steam in the mid and especially in the dry down. In the dry down, we're just left with a very flat smelling 
woody fruitiness where the woods is the most dominant and it's okay. <laughs> uh, there's nothing new here. This is quite similar to a lot of other things that we've smelled before. Um, but that said, it's not a terrible fragrance. It's not bad. At least, at least the Lady Musk is in the background and it doesn't really get annoying or anything. But for me, it's a pleasant fragrance, but nothing amazing. Nothing that I'm going to be running out to buy. But... I guess okay for like a simple everyday scent, mass appealing kind of thing that we're all pretty much used to by now. But yeah, that's all I have to say about Hugo Boss Alive. I would love to hear what you guys think about this fragrance. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it or if you're looking forward to trying it. Maybe if you have any other uh, fragrances from this house that you enjoy. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.